so good morning students i welcome you all to today's class of machine learning and data analytics using python so in the previous class we have already covered about uh, some basics of your machine learning and what machine learning is actually what are the types of machine learning i told you that there are three types supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning after that we discussed the applications of machine learning and in the last we also covered machine learning life cycle so in today's class my main focus will be to tell you about the data set as i told you that whenever we train a machine we always feed a data set into it so i will tell you about data set what are the features categories of data set from where you can collect the data set and later we will do supervised and unsupervised learning techniques in more detail okay so let's start so before that first of all you all must be aware about the differences between artificial intelligence and machine learning sometimes uh, when any teacher asks a student what is the difference so they get confused about the difference because there is very minor difference but still there is difference okay so the uh, below given table can actually help to clear your doubts on the left hand side artificial intelligence is given and on the right hand side as you can see machine learning uh, difference is explained okay so let's go over it quickly so first of all the first difference is that your artificial your artificial intelligence is a technology which enables a machine to stimulate simulate human behavior okay so we are a human we are human and we have certain patterns we have certain behavior and as per the situations we react okay but if we want that a machine should also react like that it means we are making that machine artificially intelligent right so it is actual a machine that is going to mimic your behavior it is going to copy your behavior we are making it copy your behavior the behavior of human on the other side what is machine learning machine learning is not different from ai actually it is a sub subset of ai means sub part of ai okay which allows a machine to automatically learn from past data without programming explicitly in this case we are programming our machine everything that we want our machine to do we are feeding all the instructions into it but in this case first of all the main difference is that it is subset of ai second difference is we are not providing any programming we are not programming we are not giving all the steps to the machine we are just making it learn automatically from which from where it is going to learn it is going to learn from the past data we are not programming it we are not giving all the instructions we are just feeding the data and from time to time your machine will become artificially intelligent and capable of learning from that data so in this case we program our machine everything we feed to machine but in this case your machine will automatically learn in the beginning you feed one set of data but later on it will automatically collect data and start improving its performance on its own okay so the goal of ai is to make a smart computer system like humans so its main focus is to create machine which is similar to human okay and why we are doing so to solve the complex problems but the goal of ml is to allow machines to learn from data okay so although we are making them intelligent as i told you that this is a subset of it it means your machine is behaving like uh, you like human being but in this case our focus is that your machine should learn something okay but from where it is learning it is learning from the data it is learning from it continuously it is improving its performance and whenever you ask any question from your machine it tries to give you the accurate output okay so in ai we make intelligent systems to perform any task like a human in machine learning we teach the machines with the data to perform a particular task and give an accurate result so all the differences they are revolving around the same idea machine learning and deep learning are the two main subsets of ai it mean ai has two subsets one is machine learning other one is deep learning okay so machine learning on the other side or deep learning is a main subset of machine learning so what it is saying that this is ai okay from ai you 
can say that machine learning and you get the deep learning these two are the subsets okay but if you talk about only deep learning so deep learning is actually further a subset of machine learning so it goes like this ai from ai the subset is machine learning from machine learning its subset is deep learning okay so ai is at the top in the hierarchy then machine learning is its sub part and then deep learning but we, our main focus will be on the machine learning okay so ai is at the top so it has a wide range of scope it is given okay machine learning is its sub part so it has a limited scope it means here more technologies will be used more algorithms you will be applying as compared to machine learning okay ai is working to create an intelligent system which can perform various complex tasks almost same things are repeating machine learning is working to create machines that can perform only those specific tasks for which they are trained here in ai our target is that our machine can do about anything it can do anything that a human being can do but in case of machine learning your machine will only be capable of doing that particular task for which you are training it okay so ai system is concerned about maximizing the chances of success right so it means it always expects the best results on the other side it is mainly concerned about accuracy and patterns data data will be labeled data will be accurate and whatever you are predicting from that pattern it always expects that your prediction should be as close as to accurate maybe it is not accurate always but it it actually expects it to be very close to the accuracy the main application of ai are siri customer support using chatbots expert system online game playing intelligent humanoid robot etc so these are the applications of ai on the other side applications of machine learning are online recommender system like in case of facebook also they are recommending google search facebook auto friend tagging it is tagging your uh, friends faces and giving you the hints on on ai side on the basis of capabilities of ai you just divide them into three there are, i don't know if you if you have come across this during your ai subject that there are three categories of ai weak ai general and strong ai okay so i'm not going to cover that so in machine learning it it is broadly categorized into three categories that is supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning okay in case of ai it includes learning reasoning and self correction it is learning right there are rules that you feed them on the basis of that rules it develop the reason so that it can predict the output and whenever required it has the capabilities to correct itself okay it includes learning and self correction when introduced with the new data reasoning capabilities are not available it is always learning learning and correcting itself so after that the next thing that we are going to cover is data set i am telling you again and again that we always train our machine by feeding data to it okay so this is very important your data is very important okay so from where you can get this data this question should be answered properly okay so it is saying that it is it is very important and it is the key to success in the field of machine learning or to become a great data scientist to be is to practice with different types of data sets so suppose suppose you get the uh, job in a company uh, that is working on machine learning so what will be your job profile what will be your job description it can be it can be you will become data engineer this post you can hold you can become data scientist also okay so these are the job profiles that are available if you learn machine learning properly you can apply for these jobs okay so when you are a data scientist it means this is this is a, a job at low profile this is a, above uh, data engineer okay so it is at the top so whenever you are data scientist you always want to work with different types of data sets okay but when you are working on data sets it is very important for you to discuss and find that which data set is best suitable for a particular problem 
Okay, so we are going to discuss about various uh, types of data sets. What is a data set and from where you can get the data sets. So first of all, what is a data set? So it is mentioned that a data set obviously is a collection of data and in which data is arranged in some order. It means it is not vague data. You are not collecting data randomly and putting them in the database. The data should be ordered. Okay, and a data set can contain any data from a series of an array to a database table. Maybe there is, a, there is data in the form of an array, right? In a list, data can be like this, or maybe it can be a table also. So data can be anything. Maybe it is an image also, okay? So below given is a data set in the form of a table, and it has actually four labels, four uh, columns. The first one is country, where the countries are given, and then the age of the people from that country, then the salary of people, and then if they purchased something or not. Okay, so that status is given. No, yes, no, no, yes, yes. Okay, so this kind of data, this is just an example for you people. So this is a tabular data set. Tabular means in the form of a table. So what is a tabular data set? It can be a data set or a table or a matrix also, where each column con uh, actually corresponds to a variable. So this is a variable. So country variable has what values? It has values, India, France, Germany, France, Germany, India. Age uh, column has these values. So this is a variable. Salary is also a variable with the values. Purchase is also a variable with so many values. And each row corresponds to the field. So this row means one field, this is another field, this is another field, okay? And whenever you store this type of data, you always store them in the Excel file or sometimes in the CSV file. Can you see? CSV means com comma separated file, okay? So this type of data, tabular data can be stored in Excel files also, and they can be also stored in CSV file. Whenever you are working on Excel, you store your data over there and while saving, suppose I am giving the name to my database as data and while sa uh, saving it, I save it with the extension .csv. It means it has now become comma separated value file. If you save it and it is an Excel file, so the extension will become like this Excel. Okay. So if the data is arranged in the form of a tree, means there is a hierarchy, uh, means at the top, uh, there is a node and then below are the nodes. The data is in this form. For that, we need a JSON file. So we will, when we will work on the files, I will help you with all these files. I will help you with the file, which is of the type CSV. I will help you with the file, which is of the type JSON. Okay. Now, types of data in data sets. There can be numerical data. There can be categorical uh, data. And then there can be ordinal data. Okay, so num numerical data means that the data is in the form of numbers. So if you remember the linear regression example, so when you are saying that the price, house price, so the price is always in the form of numbers. The temperature, temperature is also in the form of numbers. Okay, so if the data in the data set is of the type numbers, so we say that it is the numerical data. Okay, I mean, I think that this field I have left blank. Next is categorical data. It means it has certain categories. Okay, so category means you always differentiate. Okay, so there is there are categories. There can be two categories. There can be three categories. Okay, so if if you just look at this one. Okay, so this data is the numerical data. This is also numerical data, and then. Then come this column in which the data is in the form of two values only. It means there are two categories. Purchased has two values. So the first category is no. So no means those people, that category of people who actually has not purchased anything. And then there is this yes. Yes means those people which has actually purchased something. Okay. So other than that, there can be 
categories like true and false you don't want to represent it in the form of yes and no you can represent it in the form of true and false and then blue and green it means you just want to represent it in the form of colors if there are colors you can represent it as blue green yellow orange and so on and the third category of data is it is the ordinal data okay so it is written that it is somewhat same as categorical data okay so whatever is given in the categorical data that is there are categories there are always data ranges like yes no true false blue and green okay but can you see when i am saying yes it means that is present okay that is one and like one and when i am saying no it means it is zero similarly true means one false means zero blue means it is blue you are very clear about it right there is there are no chances of green on the other hand green means only green on the other side in ordinal data set it is also same as that of the categorical data but they are not at the extreme there are ranges there are comparisons okay now comparison means that this is greater than 10 more than that for example in row number 2 the data is 10 so in the next row the data will be 10 more than that maybe 20 so in cat in ordinal data the data can come in the form of numbers also they can come in the form of categories also but they are on the basis of comparison every row has can have data greater than or less than the other rows so you are always putting them in comparison with the other rows okay now why we need a data set so i told you this again and again that why we need a data set we need a data set because we want to train the machine this is the main idea behind the need of your data set that whenever you want to train your machine you want it to learn certain things so you feed the data of that type of that category okay so if the data set is not available the machine learning uh, technology will not work okay so whenever you are uh, finding you are looking for the need so there are two needs because of which we need data set first of all we need the data set because we want to train our machine and for training we want to feed which type of data set training data set right on the other side once you train your machine now you want to test it for testing there is another data set and that is known as the tested okay so the only thing why we need a huge amount of data because without the data one cannot train your machine learning or ai models okay and collecting and preparing the data it is one of the most crucial parts and technology applied behind any ml projects cannot work properly if the data set is not well prepared and pre processed okay so during the development of the ml project the developers completely rely on the data sets so if you are in the machine learning company that is using machine learning techniques it means you are going to work with lots and lots of data of different types okay and you are dividing it into two categories training data set and testing data set got it so this this diagram will even more clearly explain it so when you get the data so you have original data set okay you uh, kind of prepare it you do the uh, wrangling of means cleaning of the data you remove errors you remove missing values from the data okay we don't do it manually i'm not going to search for missing values and just remove for that purpose again i will apply certain algorithms okay so you got the original data set you did the cleaning of it you remove all the errors of it you remove all the missing values that is known as data wrangling then you do the analysis okay so analysis means just to arrange it according to the uh, requirement so that now it is ready to be fed to your machine so original data set that you have you just put it into you divide it into two categories one is the training data set other one is the testing data set okay so training data set is that with the help of which you are going to train your machine and testing data set is that with which you are going to test that whether your machine is now ready to predict okay now training data set is further divided into two categories one is the training set other one is the validation set now what do you mean by validation now if you have created projects 
right so you always apply certain restrictions certain uh, uh, you say validations certain checks to the data that is going to enter into your project into your form for example the name column if i say the name column can have only the values that can be in the form of characters there there will be no name that will be of the type 1 2 3 that got values 1 2 3 right we we all have names that are that are made up of only names are only made up of characters so we are going to apply validation if if i am getting the data in the column of uh, mobile number so you know that mobile numbers they never exceed the digit 10 range okay so the validations are also applied with the help of data okay so you tra you train and you apply you train your machine with the help of machine learning algorithm right and once your machine is ready with the training data and it enters which state the predictive model now it is ready to predict at that time when your machine is ready to predict you apply the validations also now what do you mean by validations F first when you feed the data you are always sure that you are feeding it the exact data in this exact type that you want but later on as i told you that when your uh, machine is actually working in the real world at that time also it is collecting the data side by side and learning and improving the performance at that time you should need to apply the validation so that it only acquires it only gathers the right form of data from the surrounding okay it should not uh, collect the vague data the data which is not valid for it only the valid data it should acquire throughout its life cycle okay once you apply the validations now you can give the test data to check the final performance estimation of your machine that if it is predicting it right or not now the question is that your teacher is saying data sets data sets data sets right so it's not that we are going to create data sets on our own right if if facebook is asking me to create an algorithm for facebook which will help facebook to throw recommendations so that the friends get suggestions that if they want to send friend request to others or not right or for the face recognition for automatic tagging if the facebook is approaching me okay so for that i am not going to collect data or uh, create data on my own i will ask facebook to provide me data what kind of data they are getting from everywhere in the world from all the people who are on facebook okay so they will provide me the data i will categorize it i will divide it into various fields and then apply the algorithm on it similarly if google map is approaching me to do uh, machine learning on certain area so at that time i am not going to create my own data i want data from google map only okay if you want to do the analysis of ipl that what who will win uh, in future so you need the ipl data you are not going to create data on your own by creating your own team you need the name of the players the real players their real uh, their real scores their real highest scores and then so it means that according to your problem your source of data will vary okay but there are certain uh, Uh, resources online there are certain sites online that will provide you with the data okay there are certain sources on which you can get the data related to different problems you if you want to do analysis of weather for example i i want you to do weather analysis so i don't want you to create your own data i will tell you that go online and search for data that is available so certain sites they have data of weather and they provide that data to the students or to the uh, professional so that in the beginning they can start their analysis okay so below they are the below actually is the list of data sets which are freely available it means you don't have to pay anything and uh, you just can practice the analysis okay so these are the uh, kegel data sets so this is a kegel uh, the name of the a uh, location i have given you here the website name the link then there is this uci machine learning repository so it contains lot of data related to machine learning uh, problems 
data sets via aws then there is this sky kit learn data set even the government uh, websites they are uh, storing they have the repository of data and they are giving you access free access to do the analysis of the data that is very important for government only the government related uh, data set okay so maybe in future we will work on one of these data sets also okay so 